future looks like oh. Did you hear that Adobe has just unveiled an exciting generative tool called Firefly? Yes, more than 100 new features and capabilities will be added to Adobe's Firefly Generative AI just seven months after its beta launch. Company executives revealed on October 10th at the Adobe Max 2023 event. Let me just get into the details of the new Adobe Firefly. Photoshop, Illustrator, and Adobe Express are just a few of the applications where Adobe has announced significant upgrades to AI image synthesis tools. Three new generative AI models, Firefly 2, Firefly Design Model, and Firefly Vector Model are included in the updates, and they enhance and expand upon the prior model's capabilities. Adobe is notably releasing its first text-to-vector AI image generator with the Vector Model. The Vector Model will enable graphic designers to quickly generate vector pictures, a first for the industry. And the Firefly Image 2 model offers greater fidelity generated images and more comprehensive settings for users. Another innovation provided by the design model for creating print and web advertising layouts is text-to-template generation. The generative AI market has had a busy year, and Adobe hasn't been satisfied to watch it go by. The industry leader in visual design software unveiled its Firefly text-to-image synthesis model in March. Because it was trained exclusively on Adobe stock images, Firefly was marketed as a morally superior option to stable diffusion and mid-journey. Based on written descriptions known as prompts, Firefly can produce imaginative visuals. I suggest trying something like a scenic vista instead of a beefy-looking barbarian. Later, the business integrated the technology into Photoshop and web applications and committed to paying any potential business legal costs associated with copyright claims made against works of art created using its tools. With a surge of fresh, generative AI features, Adobe is now expanding its reach. An updated version of Adobe's Firefly Picture Generator, which powers Photoshop features like Generative Fill, is called Firefly Image 2. In particular, Adobe states that the image quality in areas like foliage skin texture, and facial features has improved in the new version. Along with these improvements, the Firefly Image 2 model adds AI-driven editing tools that can change a variety of photo settings, including motion blur and depth of field. In order to increase productivity, a new prompt guidance option also helps customers improve the wording of their text descriptions. Machine learning is a feature of many Adobe products. In 2016, the business released Sensei, the first commercial AI. Firefly, which is based on the Sensei system, provides picture and video editors with a wide range of AI capabilities and functions. These range from text to color enhancement saturation and hue modifications to typeface and design element generation, and even the ability to instantly create and include background music into video scenarios. All of Adobe's products, including Premiere Pro, After Effects, Illustrator, Photoshop, and Express, as well as all subscription tiers of the Creative Cloud platform, including the free one, are compatible with the generative AI suite. The current text-to-image system has been greatly modified. In order to guarantee that the photographs it produces are suitable for commercial use, this one, like the one before it, is only trained on licensed and public domain information. Additionally, it supports text cues in any of 100 languages. Adobe's AI already functions across modalities, including design components, typeface effects, still photos, video, and audio. With the use of the new Firefly Vector model, it now also produces vector art as of Tuesday. This new model, which is now in beta, will also provide a generative match, which will replicate a specific aesthetic style in its output photographs. Adobe is one of the few tech businesses that has adopted generative AI entirely. A new iteration of the Firefly GAI model was introduced at Adobe Max, the company's annual creativity conference. Additionally, the business discussed closed additional GII functionality for Adobe Express only a few weeks after expanding Firefly's accessibility in the app. Generative Fill is one of the capabilities now available in Adobe Express. Users can utilize text prompts to add, remove, or replace objects, persons, and other parts of photos. In a similar vein, the Text to Template feature enables users to create editable templates from text descriptions for items like artwork and social media postings. The new Firefly design model, which Adobe claims will produce content that is suitable for commercial use, powers text to template. Additionally, 
ExpressNow provides a translation tool that uses GAI. According to Adobe, Translate can localize material between 45 languages. More than 50 multicolor paint and ornamental brushes are available through new drawing and painting functions. These can resemble the textures of watercolor, charcoal, and pencil. The company added that Express for Education's sketching templates for students may make it simple to create effects like flowers and hearts. According to Adobe, a simple resize tool will make it simple for people to receive various versions of a design to fit all social media outlets instantly. You may use the app to directly plan and share videos to platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and X in the meantime. Over 100 new features for its key Adobe Creative Cloud applications were introduced at Max. These include new editing features for Lightroom, as well as extra Firefly-powered Illustrator and Photoshop tools. A new generative match tool from Adobe lets users match the look of generated material to particular photos. It basically functions as an IMG2 IMG feature, which is a method frequently employed in stable diffusion. Companies who want to continuously use their brand style across different materials can find this appealing. Commercial use won't be permitted while the feature is still under beta testing. New Firefly models developed by Adobe, particularly for Illustrator, were also released, enabling users to produce modified vector pictures based on text instructions. Since vector shapes are represented as mathematical formulas, they may be scaled to any size without losing quality, unlike bitmapped visuals seen in files like JPEGs. A fast Google search refutes Adobe's assertion that the Firefly vector model is the world's first generative AI model for vector graphics, revealing earlier vector-based AI models that span from commercial products to more ancient experimental research. On the other hand, it's safe to state that this is the first vector-generating AI model from a business that is at the moment regarded as a big participant in the picture synthesis field. It's also noteworthy that Adobe Illustrator, one of the most widely used vector graphics editors in the world, already has the technology. The Firefly design approach from Adobe focuses on creating customized templates for many media types, from print to web advertising, in Adobe Express. They refer to it as text to template, as opposed to text to image with Firefly 2. The quality of image synthesis models has quickly increased with the release of DAL E2 in April 2022. Adobe's updates coincide with ongoing image synthesis tool updates from rivals like Stability AI, Midjourney, Microsoft, OpenAI, and Meta. Suppose you've been following our coverage of artificial intelligence. In that case, you're probably already aware of the general debates surrounding AI-generated artwork because of unresolved copyright concerns and concerns about replacing human artists. Although Adobe still needs to totally solve these problems, it still wants to keep advancing image synthesis technology to the public. The business has also introduced tools like Content Credentials, which use metadata to identify AI-generated content, and it supports supports laws like the FAIR Act, which would give artists whose styles are purposefully and profitably imitated by AI tools legal recourse. Even if some of those attempts fail, Adobe can still claim that it is addressing the problem while moving on with its AI rollout. It is anticipated that Firefly 2, which includes Generative Match, will eventually be included in Creative Cloud apps and is currently available for testing in Adobe's web-based beta. In the meantime, the Firefly design model is a beta feature in Adobe Express, and the Firefly vector model is accessible via an upgrade to Adobe Illustrator in the Creative Cloud app. That's all for now. For more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.